Well, I was born in Baghdad. I had a very nice childhood. Um, I went to a nun school. You know, multicultural people. There was no discussion of religion or anything. Then I moved to London because I decided I really want to become an architect. And so I went to the A in 72. And the A was really um, a school of many different uh, nations and different ideas. I just wanted to do very, I mean, I wanted to do interesting work. And of course, I can't deny I was very ambitious. I mean, I remember Ram saying to me one day that I was impatient, but it actually wasn't true. Uh, uh, you know, time proved that I was very patient uh, in a way. I mean, the kind of work we did was not at the time even acceptable. I mean, people didn't understand our drawings. We were punished because we were different. It was also difficult because I was a woman, because, you know, women can't do certain things according to the male population. I know very few architects who retired. They can't afford to stop. It is an addiction. It's also what we strive and live on is the creative process. I don't regret things. Uh, you know, I, I came to Beijing um, more than 30 years ago, 30 years ago, and I knew even then that this is a great, would be a great pl place to build at some point. Nobody at the time really believed me. No matter how many times you can draw it up, there's always, when you are in the space, there's always a surprise. You just hope it's a good surprise. You know, people think of this is really doesn't relate to China. But I'm saying is that, uh, you know, in the future, this would look like it was a Chinese project. <laughs>